Hello beautiful people, welcome to my vlog. Um, I usually don't do live vlogs um, and I'm quite nervous and excited by this. Um, I felt like, you know, before, like when you have the first talk with a guy that you really like or someone that you really like and they call you and you're like, okay, just answer, just answer, just answer. And then you miss the call and then you need to call them. And then you're like, okay, just, just call, just call. And then you're like really nervous. So that's me right now. And I'm not even sure if, if you see me like offside or am I the right direction, but I really, really needed to say this. Um, so I came across an ad from the UK in the government. I don't know if you can see it. Um, you might see it on reverse, but basically it says that Fatima's next job could be in cyber. Wow, so lucky for Fatima. Um, so um, 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 I was shocked like most artists in the UK area um, about well, it started about a week ago when my Twitter girl went completely mental after uh, Rishi Sunak um, said that the arts jobs are not viable. Um, and everybody are like, well, that's my job. That's what I work. I'm self-employed. I declare my tax. So clearly it is a job. If so many people currently are talking to the government about the fact that they need help at the moment. So it is a job. We do work. Uh, on the other hand, on compared to that ad that the government trying to get us new jobs in cyber and data analyzing, um, nothing against those jobs. All good. Love data analysts. You're an analyst. <laughs> You're amazing. But that's not what we want to do. It doesn't mean that it's not what we 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 can do. We can do that, definitely. But our heart is somewhere else. The people in the art industry that were in it for fame and fortune, they probably already moved and are doing something else. But most of us, some of us are doing something else because, well, most of us, we still need to pay our bills, we need to pay our rent, we pay, need to pay our phones, we need to pay what, for our food. Um, but our heart is in arts. That's our job. It is a job. Um, on the other hand, good news that we had today is the fact that a lot of art facilities, theatre and events got fundings from the Arts Council. Um, Thank you for that, just for them to keep afloat. And today, the as much as I know, the Prince Charles Cinema, which is one of the only um, privately owned ones, uh, private cinemas in London, supposed to open today. So good luck, guys. And on Thursday, I know that the Bush Theatre is starting to work again, trying social distancing. Good luck for you guys. And slowly, slowly, we get in there. But at the moment, the arts is having problems because when we create events, when we create theater, we need the audience with us. We are viable, we are important. And what we do is we touch people's hearts. We take people out of their daily bubbles. We take people of what they are thinking right now and we make them go to a whole different reality or we're criticizing what's going on in the universe. That's what art is. And the fact that people tell us that our jobs are not viable, that we are not important, that what we do is, is not a job and that we should do something else. Why? Now I'm sure and I know that it's not just in the UK. I know that it happens all around the world from few different governments. The reason that I am talking about the UK is 10 years ago, I moved from a country that doesn't appreciate so much theatre and moved to the UK knowing that in the UK there is that appreciation for the arts. There is this appreciation for theatre and event making and festivals. And I've succeeded to get my master's degree in that and I've succeeded to create my living and to earn my money just from that it is a job and like me I stayed here because I met so many amazing people that that's what they do we touch humans 
face to face by music, by dancing, by characters. And I want to remind during this time to the UK government and to artists all over because my Facebook at the moment is filled with so many artists that are losing hope and people that work in events because it's not just performers you have backstage people you have the admin people box office ushers and all of those people are currently at a part that they're losing hope that they can't find whatever usually fill their hearts which is touching other people's hearts hearts with the arts sorry english second language ages <laughs> um and everybody are currently using hope so this is my reminder for you guys and for the uk government that we are in the past history of humanity during world war one world war two with kings queens whatever the arts every time created change during those times and this eventually will create a new movement within the arts because we are still here and we are viable and we still create events even if it's online and we will continue creating events even with social distancing and we will find a way to do what we do despite of these circumstances it doesn't mean that we need to change what we do just the way that we do it and perhaps governments are currently are afraid because a lot of times a lot of governments in the past and a lot of um kingdomships were very afraid of the arts because the arts is what eventually criticizes the way that they do stuff whether it's through theater shows whether it's through songs whether it's through dance performances and we will create our stand in one way or another so this is me saying to all the artists out there don't lose hope one and for the UK, UK government and governments out there we don't need a different jobs that's our job and we will find a way to do it and we will just have a new movement and I think that's it I just <laughs> yeah um, I needed to say this and get it out there because it drove me mental to see I've been doing it since I was five years old and it's hard for me for someone to see governments coming and saying this is not a job and we are not viable so we are and we will be and to all the theatres and performances and events that are slowly coming back up with social distancing yeah <laughs> and and soon soon again we will find a way to do it face to face just with a bit of a distance um because filming is back and yesterday i had a filming day and okay that's me stopping mumbling that's all i wanted to say um for now yeah i'm sorry <laughs> i'm on verge of tears so i think that's it now how do i stop it <laughs> yes i'm sure i want to end my video <laughs>